uh, whether you've been opponents or wh whether you're one of the Belfry, the Pond Creek Nation, as, as we like to refer to ourselves, I thank you for coming. And I just want to share a few thoughts with you. And uh, Coach Leekwire said that I have to do it in a halftime talk so we can get out of here on time. <laughs> the only difference at halftime, I had somebody at the door telling me five minutes, three minutes, you know, we've got to get back on the field. When I came to Belfry 32 years ago, I had no idea the blessings I was going to receive by living in, in the Pond Creek community. I have been tremendously blessed. We've had so many great players, hard-working players. We don't have a bunch of D1 guys, as most people know. We may have one or two every eight or ten years, but most of the time we just got blue-collar guys, hard-working players that believe in what we do. I've had so many great coaches that are just fantastic because you certainly can't do what we're able to do by yourself. We, we've got great support with our coaching staff. I love them dearly, and they've been fantastic over the years. A great school, great administrators, great teachers, and just people who have mentored me over the years that have helped me grow. And a great community, just, just fantastic people to be associated with. So I, I feel like one of the most fortunate people in the world to be a part of the, this community, this Belfry community that we're a part of. And I just want to share a few thoughts about that with you. Having a chance to speak in some places over the last few years, in, in Kentucky and some other places as well, one of the questions that I get frequently is, what makes Belfry so special? And I'm going to tell you, that's a hard question to answer. Because Belfry's a, a one of the most unique places, I think, in America. Not, not just in our locale, but in anywhere. It's a rural community. You know, we don't really have a city that we build around or anything like that. And it's kind of centered around the school. And so what our school does is very important to that community, regardless of where you live. And people rally around that. And that's so important to a small rural area is the success of our school. And even though I'm talking about football, I'm going to say that, that there's a spirit that runs through that community. And it, it, it manifests itself in times of tragedy and, and disaster and happiness and joy. When someone succeeds at our school, regardless of the sport, and, and we have a lot of success in a lot of different areas, our academics are always real strong. Many of you have gone to school there, you know the kind of academics we have. When one person succeeds, we all succeed. But for whatever reason, this same spirit runs through Pond Creek on Friday nights in a very special way. And I don't have a good answer for that, but I've tried to explain that a couple of times, so I'll give you my thoughts on it. I feel like that the blue-collar work ethic of our football program reflects the blue-collar mentality of our community. Now, I know that some of you may not be in the blue-collar mold today, that you may have advanced past that. But at the same time, your heritage is blue collar. Your roots are there. And many times, that's what we do. And we reflect that type of mentality. And people seem to like that. And this took place long before I came to Belfry. And it will be there after I'm gone. It's just kind of the way it is. And people have always come out and supported our program on Friday nights. It's kind of a big thing. As someone said, there's not a whole lot to do over there, is there? I said, no. So people, that's, that's kind of a happening on a Friday night. But it's something that's really a special, unique kind of thing, and not everyone has that. And it's something that we need to cherish because it's very important. I was talking with Andrew Joyce on a radio program, actually, and he made this comment. And I wasn't aware of this, but it kind of says a little bit about what Belfry football is, and it, it explained it to me pretty good. He said our biggest radio program of the year is by far Friday night Belfry football. He said you wouldn't believe how many hits we have on Friday night. He said it's not in the hundreds, it's in the thousands. He said it's not just local, it's Kentucky. He said it's the United States and it's global. He said people will call 
and, and do the internet thing, however all that's done. I'm not all up to date on everything. But they're checking our score from all over the world to see how the Belfry Pirates are doing on Friday night. He said no other program we have is anywhere close to what takes place when a Belfry football game's on the radio or being aired late on a delay. And, and I wasn't even aware of that. I knew there was a lot of people out there, but I didn't. There, there was kind of proof that that many people were checking in on us. I want to share three thoughts about our program. One is that we ask our players to do the right thing. That sounds pretty easy. Do the right thing. That means being in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing. Well, they're teenagers. That's hard for adults to do. But we want them to do the right thing. And if, if we can concentrate on that, give them guidance, help them along the way, help them become better citizens, then we've helped. And it's not just coaches, it's not just teachers, it's, it's parents, it's grandparents, it's the community that raises the child. So all of us together help them become the citizens that we want them to become later on. Second thing that we stress is treat others as you would like to be treated. That's biblical. Jesus made that statement. In the football locker room, I think is the one place, and maybe there's others, and maybe I'm a little biased, <laughs> but I think it's one place that there aren't any barriers. Race is not a factor. Ethnicity is not a factor. It doesn't matter what size your pocket because all those things are gone. It's all based on if you've done what everybody else has done to get to the point where you're able to wear that uniform and be a part of this program. That's what Belfry football is. And no other factors involved. Yes, some players have more talent than others, but everybody can contribute. And that's what we try to get our players to understand, to treat each other as equals with dignity, honor, and respect because you're a part of the total program. And hopefully that carries over into other parts of their life, in school, family, and obviously later on. The third thing is doing the best that you can do. Another thing that sounds easy. But we live in a society with young people and quite a few old people, older people, that we do enough to get by, or we reach a goal and then we coast. But our goal is to do a little better each day, to take the talents and gifts that God has given us to become as good as we can be on a daily basis, to maximize our potential. And our definition of success does, doesn't have anything to do with wins or championships. It has simply this, doing the best that you can do with the abilities that God has given you. Now, if you can do that on a daily basis, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Look where you could be a month from now. Look where you could be six months from now. Look where you could be five years from now. But it takes focus, it takes self-discipline. It takes people constantly reminding them of these three things. It's my prayer, my hope, that Belfry football will continue to prosper. But more so, it's my prayer that these seeds that we plant in these young men every year, that they will continue to grow and grow into fruition as they get older, so that one day they can fulfill their God-given destiny. It's their purpose in life. Well, I'm not going to stop till I challenge you to do something great. And the only way you can do anything great is to be passionate about what you're doing.